tomorrow is the day NVIDIA is going to announce their earnings and Wall Street is watching. And this is how I'm going to trade this earnings period. So watch until the end to see this particular strategy that I want to share with you guys and you let me know what you guys think. It's an idea that I have and I think it's going to have a high chance of winning. But let's see. Okay, and you tell me whether you agree with it. So NVIDIA's earnings, huge things. Wall Street is watching this. It's going to shake the market. If NVIDIA's earnings does not meet expectation, you can expect a big drop in NVIDIA's price. NASDAQ is going to go down. Wall Street, SPY, everything is going to go down. Okay. Now, if NVIDIA posts like, I, I would say like surprising earnings, there's a way above expectation, the whole entire stock market is going to go up. Unlikely, it's going to remain stagnant. Like, oh, okay, that's what we expect. Even if they expect, depending on the forward I would say guidance, like how the CEO mentioned in the next one year, in the next uh, half a year, what's going to happen to NVIDIA, this will all shake the market. Wall Street is just waiting for a reason for it to move. So how should we trade NVIDIA? Obviously, we do not know. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? But in my opinion, it's not going to stay flat. Unlikely, very unlikely it's going to stay flat. So in a lot of options traders' mind, maybe I'm going to do a straddle. Now, a straddle means we can both buy a call and a put. So you can see right here, uh, NVIDIA's price now is 126. I can buy a 126 call, a 126 put, and that will give us a chance to make huge profits if it goes very high up or huge profits when it goes very low down. Very likely, it will not stay stagnant. However, there's a very big problem with this particular strategy. And the big problem is this. NVIDIA's IV is extremely high right now. The IV percentile is 97 percentile, meaning to say the options has already priced in the fact that NVIDIA will move huge movements. So you have to pay a lot for the options. So let's take a look. If we go to the table, and I'm, I'm going for a September 6 options, a very near-term options. You can even go for 30th August if you want. It's a four days options. Let's go for it and let's try to win, okay? So maximum you got to lose is 1,004. And if you win, it is unlimited. You can go up to maybe 8,000, 10,000. It NVIDIA flies huge, okay, by 28%, 34%, 50%. But can they go so high? So let's take a look at the table. Now, if you take a look at the table, you can see right here, uh, this is where we are right now on the 28th. That's where at 4 a.m. they will announce the earnings. NVIDIA has got to move about 8.3%. Okay, let me just make the range a little bit bigger. Okay, you can see this is where the price is. Okay, right now for NVIDIA, uh, 126. It must move up, up, up to maybe 136. Okay, by 7.5% before you see a profit. And if it drops, it must drop to 113. It must drop by 11%, minus 11% before you see a profit. Can NVIDIA move that much? Well, actually, if you take a look at their past history, NVIDIA's earnings movement is quite huge. They have been moving by 19%, 13%. When they drop, it's dropped by 4%, sometimes 2%. So you can see, I would say the chance is half that it breaks the particular 11% mark. Now, the issue is this. One thing we got to take note of is this is factoring current IV, current implied volatility, which is right here, about 134. You must understand, once they announce earnings, the implied volatility will drop. So when it drops, what's going to happen? Take a look at this range, okay? Right now, uh, keep your eyes here. We will make money if NVIDIA goes up by 7.5%. Okay, just look at this. Okay, and also we will make money if NVIDIA drops by 11%. Right now, it seems quite possible. But when IV crushes, okay, when it drops, what happens? Let me show you this. I'm going to move this meter, my mouse here. I'm going to drop it by, let's say, half to 56% IV, which is, in fact, quite high already. But for NVIDIA, it's like half of their usual IV. And what happens is, the options premium, the value of the options will drop. And no longer, okay, you can see that, okay, as it drops, as it drops, can you see, even if they hit a 7.5%, they are still losing money. So NVIDIA needs to move more than 11% before you make $20. Remember, you are risking $1,004. You'll make $20 if NVIDIA reaches 11% of uh, upside you uh, make $500 if NVIDIA moves 15% of upside. And uh, you need NVIDIA to move 15% downside before you start to make money. That's around this range. Okay, and as the time goes by, you can see you may not get out at 4 
a.m., correct? So maybe the next day on the 29th of August, that's where you try to get out the trade. You need NVIDIA to move, same thing, 11% before you make $3. <laughs> okay. Uh, or 15% before you make $500 or more, $495. So, and you need NVIDIA to move down by 15%. Can they move down by 15%? Well, I, and I'm, I'm not sure. And I think that this is, you will say, oh, I'm just risking $1,000 to make about $500, to make about $700. If you think that this trade is good, maybe i show you something else. Uh, but go ahead, take this trade if you want to. Uh, not something that I'll do, in my opinion. High risk and based on past data, there's a 50-50 chance. And I don't like 50-50. And you can take a look because the implied volatility of NVIDIA has already been priced in. The bar you can see right here, the blue color bar, it is how the implied volatility already priced in based on NVIDIA's past movement, based on expectation. And a lot of times, the price, the actual price movement, which is the green color uh, graph here or the red color graph here, it does not exceed the expectation. Only when they exceed the expectation, then you'll be profitable. So you can see out of this particular chart, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, about 50%, 50% chance. And I don't like to play a 50% chance. Okay, so and NVIDIA, definitely the earnings after they announce, the volatility will drop. And when it drops, the chance goes against us. So let me share with you another particular idea and you see whether you like this. Again, it's not a sure Q idea, but it's a higher probability of winning. So you can see NVIDIA, they are in the semiconductor space. And because NVIDIA's announcement will affect the expectation of the entire semiconductor space, I'm going to trade a semiconductor stocks that has low implied volatility. Where do we find it? I go to this particular website called Finviz. And when I search for NVIDIA, you can see they are in the semiconductor sector. Okay, let's click on this. And based on this, okay, sorry, semiconductor industry, they are in the technology sector. So based on the industry, there are quite a number of semiconductor stocks. I'm going to only choose those that are optionable. So there's about 56 of them. And the next thing I do is I will, I will like sort them out by volume. Let me click on this volume and click again. These are the ones with the highest volume, like Nvidia, Intel, AMD. And when you go and check on them, these guys have huge implied volatility as well. Uh, let's try MU. Okay. Let's check the implied volatility of MU and see whether we can trade stocks like this right now. I can tell you more than often, implied volatility percentile of MU is 94 percentile. As I went through the list, I realized those that are very heavily traded, unlikely to find one that is low volatility. Only upon... Let me just go through the whole entire thought process. I search through all of them. And I still want something that's relatively high volume and there's huge changes. You can see I like, I like this kind of like minus 4%, uh, minus 3.9%, 0.8%, not so attractive. 0 0.33, not so attractive. So even the volume is, is decent, but it may not move that much. Okay, it's not a highly volatile stock. So finally on page three, I found this particular stock with the ticker symbol. Where is it? Okay. SKYT, Skywater Technology. So this is an interesting company in my opinion. Let me share with you why. And this is the company that I will probably do a shredder on. Okay, SKYT. When I click on this, you can see the IV percentile is 22. When I check on the interactive broker, it's even lesser. It's about 4%. So it is very low IV percentile right now. And when I go and click on the Stradder, SKYT. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So if I do a Stradder on SKYT, uh, <laughs> this is something that's a lower risk. You just need to actually invest $100. But what I'm going to suggest is instead of buying the 20 September Stradder, you can go for the January one. Why do I do that? And uh, I'm risking $200 over dollars. Uh, but in my opinion, the risk is manageable. Let me show you why. It's because when I go to SKYT, they have already reported earnings and each time they report earnings, can you see that it moves a lot from $6, okay, it jumps up to $7 or even $8 and there's a movement upwards to even 9 So it can go up by even up to 50%. Can you see that? 50%. And I have the data to show it. So, uh, and you can see the past few earnings, there's a huge gap from, let's say, almost $10 drop to $7, a 30% drop. Can you see that? A 30%. Okay, but if you just look at the gap, uh, maybe 20%. So what's this, what this gives me, right, is a high chance of a huge movement of a stock that is considerably cheap right now based on their IV percentile. 
and their next earnings is in November. Now, what I'm really gunning for is NVIDIA's earnings because when NVIDIA announced their earnings, I'm expecting huge movement in the semiconductor space. So I'm gunning for the fact that Skywater technology will also move. But in case they don't, I still have another chance, which is their next earnings on the 5th of November. That's the reason why I'm going for a 17 January 2025. So it covers their earnings period in November. Of course, there will be, I will say, time decay. But let me show you again on the graph. On the table right now, you can see from now, from now until the next earnings, which is here. 6th of November. In case it didn't move during the NVIDIA's like, announcement tomorrow, I will need this particular stock to move. You can see right here, 28%. That's huge, right? Let me just increase the range. Okay. Okay, about 23%. You will say, oh, 23%? Okay, no, 18%. It, it seems very huge. But remember, based on the previous few movement, uh, this particular stock, which is Sky Water Technology, they have been moving things like 20%, 30% every time there's earnings. And it can move down by, it needs to move down by, let's see, 41%. Now, there's one thing that we have not considered yet, which is the volatility. Remember, right now, it is at an extreme low. When I check in Interactive Brokers, which is my broker, uh, right now, their IV percentile is 4, 4 percentile. So what it means is during earnings, as you can see, there's a chance, there's usually a chance for it to spike up. The volatility will spike. So even nearing earnings, they have not announced earnings, and I'm just going to move this volatility uh, meter. Now it's 4 percentile. Unlikely, during earnings, it becomes 8 percentile. It's going to move like 40 percentile. So it's going to move like maybe 3, 4, or even 10 times the implied volatility right now. Okay, maybe not 10 times, but basically it will move a huge amount. So if let's say it moves 2 times, Okay, to about 100 over percentile. Can you see, based on the earnings, the earnings date in November, without the price even moving, I'm already profitable. And I don't think, based on past historical data, I don't think volatility will remain so low during the earnings period. So again, I have two chances to profit. One is after the announcement of NVIDIA. Second is after their earnings. So this is my idea for today. Before... NVIDIA announced earnings. I'm not going to trade the particular stock. I'm not going to trade NVIDIA. That's gambling. There's a low chance of winning. I'm going to do things that is at a side view. Okay, The space and the shovel. I'm not going to dig the gold. I'm going to sell the space and shovel. So let me, let me know what you think about this video. Let me think about uh, what you think about this idea. And let me know if you actually enjoy all this like sharing of brainstorming ideas that I have in my mind. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. And remember to invest safe. And finally, one important thing. Size is nothing, sizing is everything. Okay, so remember to position size in every single trade because none of them is guaranteed. There's no 100%. I'll see you in the next video.